Welcome back to Inside the Life Precision Academy. In this episode, Precision hosts Uxbridge under the lights at Loot Meadow, the home of the Digcott Town first team. It's the League Cup quarters. Can they progress to the final four? Join us to find out. Talk to you about Sunday. What could we get away with? We could, we could get away with pressing in ones and twos and a bit sloppy. What else could we get away with Sunday? Uh, mistakes. mistakes. Four touches. Four touches. All right, they probably should have scored at the beginning, yeah? The ones they probably should have scored. All right, you won't get away with that tonight. I don't want to think too far about the future. Every game at a time, all right, and, and you've been quality. But we, we've slipped up a little bit against Beaconsfield, where we put it to the test, and when we drew here against Buckingham, all right, by not doing things properly. Does that make sense? All right, so just do things properly. You've warmed up perfectly. Go in together, come out together, and let's get the job done. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. After some last words from head coach Christian, it's clear Diddy needs to get off to a good start, don't, don't and they're almost going in front straight after kickoff. Fine work from Joss Hedges on the right hand side. Sees Charlie Herbert hit the post inside the opening minute. No cross, no cross, no cross. Despite pleas to stop the cross, Uxbridge do get one over, but did he clear the danger? Go on, go on, big hand! Go on, kiss! There you go! Yeah. However, concerns start to grow over the fitness of Freddie Kennedy. Freddie, five minutes, if you don't start moving properly, you're coming off. Good boy, good reaction, good reaction. Hey, stop giving it away! Oh, is, it, is it just me or is that ball going the same place every time? Robbie Gallagher wins a free kick in a decent position, but Christian isn't happy with the comments from the visitors' bench. It needs to be in the gym. You need to be in the gym, big boy. Tell him my players need to be in the gym. You need to be in the gym. Fool. Enough talk about gyms, as Digcourt land the first punch of the evening. Hedges finds space to nod home on the stroke of half-time. Get in there. Get Yet in to there. find their rhythm, it's a vital goal going into the break. You saw that? The whistle sounds, but it's not the happiest of dressing rooms. Alright, so a couple of things. Well, firstly, back four, back five, apart from you basically buggers in the corner. Yep. Alright, back five, spot on. Alright, spot on. Okay, so, so well done, you, you five. Yeah, from there, alright, and that's six. We're pretty much, pretty much all over the, all over the gap. Okay, how much space have you got down the wide? How much space, case? The baron's got the ball, loads. How much to, how many times have you? Demanded it. Zero. Zero. Right, so if, if we're struggling and I'm in your team, I'll just give it to Freddie for 10 minutes. I'll give it to Hedgie for. And at no point have we done that. Have we done that? And so our two most effective players on the ball, when we are the Kosh, we haven't done that. Right, we tackle, we tackle high up. Yeah, we commit players high up. If Hedgie's got the ball, we run past him. Well, he's got the ball, we run past him. If keezy has got the ball, we get in the box. We run past him. Yeah? Chris? Just one thing. Right, it's interesting how many times we have every man behind the ball and we pass on occasion. How many times? You know? Yes, how many times have you to me? Quite a lot. Right, so I've seen five times where it was in with Freddie, it was in kids, and it's been on to go back to who? To you. And then what? And then big. Alright, so this is where sometimes we should revert our training. And our training session don't change today. I like it should be sick by the end of the year. It's basic, basic, basic. And nothing too much. But there are times Freddie's in, draws about three players in, everyone's out of the game, bam, bam, and then go. If that goes off the pitch, then that ain't going to because we're trying to do the right things. But it won't, will it? All right, so that's just one thing for me. Come out, then go big. Come out, then go big. Go back to training. Go back to training. But hey, you deserve the goal, so let's go back out there and do things right. We, we, right. We've got up it. We've got up it. We need to up the game. Yeah? Yeah? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. I want to hear you. I want to hear people going. You can't play in flip flops. You can't play in flip flops, though. I mean, you can't play in flip flops. 
Cappuccino are proud to support and sponsor Inside the Life of Non-League Football. Here at Cappuccino, we want to raise awareness and funds for mental health support through our passion for speciality coffee and a simple reminder that self-care is not selfish. Please check us out on Instagram when you get a chance and also if you're ever at a Didcot Town game and why wouldn't you want to be, you'll see us on the shirts as we're proud to be involved with the club as well. Ahead of the second 45, is a certain quote that stuck from the first half. Get to the gym. He started it. <laughs> Uxbridge get us back underway. And within minutes, Didcot should have doubled their lead. Hedges has two great chances from Kieran Day's knockdown. Can't fire home. But almost inevitably, Owen Dawes' brilliant delivery from the corner for a second time finds Hedges untracked to pounce home. Oh, my door is actually mad. Come on, come on, my Hey. Can you feel your leg, yeah? 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 With the bench checking on Freddie Kennedy's fitness, George Rushton's ping from the back finds Robbie Gallagher, who does well to beat his mark in an effort to tee up Josh Hedges for his hat trick, but is cut out at the last second by Uxbridge. Robson. Oh, Robson. Robbie and Josh link up again oh, soon enough, gone, gone, this time with more no, success. No, no. Gallagher with the first time pass to set the striker on his way. Yes! Lewis will make his impact shortly, but the Joss Hedges show is still going. Another corner, another goal. After being in the right place at the right time, yet again. However, there was no worries of Lewis getting lost on the pitch, Craig. Gallagher finds Brad Morton on the right, and as he pulls it across, Lewis is brought down and a penalty is given. It seems there's only one man for the job. I've got more confidence than this, it's right to be confident. Lewis converts to complete the round as extra jacket for six. Full time, Didcot progress, and after we caught the thoughts of Josh Hedges, Robbie Gallagher, and a summary from Christian Lawrence. What did you make of that one? 6 0? Pretty convincing, isn't it? It's fine, didn't it? It's not bad. Of course, does be happy with that, aren't you, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough for the boys. A lot of games. Just a little bit of a new one. I think the messages at half time were 
we weren't quite on it. You know, we had a game yesterday which was probably a little bit easier than we expected. Um, and we sort of ran away with it. So it's easy to get complacent with it. So, I mean, as I said, you know, we spoke about it before. You know, we've probably played teams that puts a bit of pressure on. Sometimes we start a bit slow. And it's, you know, it's all about making making the right decisions and, and you know, doing things. So when we do play the better teams, we don't get caught out. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, we got lucky with the goals for half time um, on a set piece that we've been working on. Um, and that changed, that changed the whole game. You know, I thought, I thought they were good. You know, they, they were well drilled and that, that goal definitely change change the things and like you say when you've got someone like hedgy and you've got the quality of lads like freddie up there the hedgy's been class you know so you can't get someone like him time around the box and you know when things aren't going well you know it's players like him we rely on and you know he showed his class today and you know deserved all five goals <sighs> yeah always easy mate always easy take anyone game, game at a time so. cheers pal